a royal smile. On September 18, the eve of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, an unseen portrait of the late monarch was released by Buckingham Palace. In the photo, the Queen is dressed in a light blue dress, with her hair perfectly curled, as she smiles brightly for the camera. She is pictured wearing her favorite three-strand pearl necklace, pearl earrings and her aquamarine and diamond clip brooches which were an 18th birthday present from her father King George VI in 1944. According to the palace, the portrait was taken earlier this year to mark Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee, as she became the first British monarch to reach the milestone. Queen Elizabeth passed away at the age of 96 on September 8 at Balmoral Castle, her vacation home in Scotland. After lying in state at Westminster Hall, where mourners reportedly waited for miles to pay their respects, the Queen's funeral is scheduled to take place Sept. 19 at 6 a.m. ET, 3 a.m. PT. The day will be a national bank holiday for the residents of the United Kingdom. According to the palace, the coffin carrying the Queen's body will be taken in procession from the Palace of Westminster to Westminster Abbey, the site of her 1953 coronation and her 1947 wedding to Prince Philip. After the service, the coffin will travel in procession to Wellington Arch, after which it will travel to Windsor Castle, the Queen's home for the past two years. Once the coffin reaches Windsor, the state hers will travel in procession to Street. George's Chapel in the area, where a committal service will be held. Several members of the royal family, including the Queen's eldest son King Charles III, his children Prince William and Prince Harry and their wives Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle are expected to be in attendance. Prince George, 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, the eldest children of William and Kate, who are now known as the Prince and Princess of Wales, have also been confirmed to be attending their great-grandmother's state funeral and committal services, per the palace. The day before funeral, King Charles, 73, issued a message of thanks to the nation as it prepares to say a last farewell to his mother. Over the last 10 days, my wife and I have been so deeply touched by the many messages of condolence and support we have received from this country and across the world, his sept. 18th statement read. In London, Edinburgh, Hillsborough and Cardiff we were moved beyond measure by everyone who took the trouble to come and pay their respects to the lifelong service of my dear mother, the late Queen. The statement continued, as we all prepare to say our last farewell, I wanted simply to take this opportunity to say thank you to all those countless people who have been such a support and comfort to my family and myself in this time of grief, 